What is going on beautiful people? Welcome back. It's your boy Blue and this is a first look at Train Sim World 2 London Commuter. I'll be operating the Electro Star Class 387 Gatwick Express from London Victoria to Gatwick Airport and then direct to Brighton. This is one of the three rush hour routes and so far it looks like the busiest. So before we get to work, let's take a look at the station. All right, here we are at the ticket gate. You can actually hear people walking through the gates, which is really cool. Really cool. So you look, zoom in there. You can't actually access this area. You have some static people kind of standing there. I don't know if those are, I don't know if that's like the rush hour people who are deactivated right now. Cause again, this is a early access version. We're not getting the final release version. The final release version is gonna have all the rush hour passengers. Uh, this is not, even though this is actually a decent amount of people uh, for not having rush hour passengers turned on. Uh, walking through the station. You see one train over there on platform 9 already departing. It's very, very busy. I can't wait to see how uh, this looks with the rush hour passenger uh, quantities turned on. This is a, a decent amount of people uh, for it to fall. So our train is actually over there at platform 13. And I want to show you something really cool about uh, the PIS system or the passenger information system. So look up there on platform 13. Our uh, train departs at 843 uh it goes to brighton right but it says calling at gatwick airport and brighton the thing that's cool about this is it shows all the stops um and also shows the current time and how many pages if you go over here and look at this train on platform 12 and you can see that it also leaves at 841 and it's going to to epson as its last stop or epson and it's calling at uh eos there's actually three pages on here one eight coaches southern it's like a hack bridge car shop Sutton, Sheen, I'm probably pronouncing all those completely wrong because I'm not British and uh, it's all good. So yeah, over here at 11, you can see uh, this is something interesting. It's really cool. I don't know if they've incorporated this very much in, in past routes. So I really like that. I think it may do that on the side of the train. I'm not 100% sure. Before we go again over there, let's uh, kind of explore this station a bit more. Again, I've never personally been to London. Would love to go out there. Would love to hop on the, uh, the train out there. But I uh, haven't been there just yet. So one day, hopefully, we can make it happen. So here's uh, platform 14 and 15. Got another southern train over here. Uh, so we have a Gatwick Express inbound. Uh, he should be here pretty soon for the 9 o'clock. Yeah, it's only 8.30 a.m. If you see anything suspicious, please tell a member of staff or the police. I also like the, the uh, PA system. You know, it's kind of like a few just kind of random things she says. But, it's, you know, it kind of adds to that immersion. You know what I'm saying? You know, my favorite word, immersion. Here's platform 8. Nothing's on here. Uh, it's not at the moment. I don't know if anything actually comes through platform 8. But here's where it gets interesting on this side. We have some uh, some more other livery trains over here. We got this guy here. Looks like he's going London, Victoria. Or he is London, Victoria. It's a southeastern. That's what they call now, I don't know if you have to have the Southeastern DLC to see these. I'm assuming you do. Um, I do have the majority of the DLC. So there's a first class there. You can see, yeah, so those both of those trains come from the Southeastern. I'm going to jump the track here. All red signals, we're good. Um, yeah, they all come from the Southeastern High Speed DLC, which I highly, highly recommend. Probably personally one of my favorite DLCs. And if you love British routes, um, that's definitely one for you. It's also very busy too. So yeah, this one already has the doors open, so he's probably going to be leaving pretty soon. Now let's see if we, how far back here we can go. This is platform two actually. And uh, yeah, we can run all the way back here. So I'm assuming we can actually run th that service up and it stops me right there. So it's like a <laughs> invisible boundary here that I can't go any farther. That's a bummer because I really want to go into that part of the station. I don't know why they blocked it up. It's something I really really always bothered me in Train Sim World is uh, the, uh, the player boundaries. I hate being bound down, uh, not being able to explore areas. Like if I can see it, I should be able to go there. And if you feel me, definitely let me know in the chat, in the, uh, in the comments, if uh, you like dovetail to take down the player boundaries. So let's go ahead and head back to our train. We still got plenty of time uh, until we get started. So when we head back to the train, Get that thing started, we're gonna head down to London Gatwick Airport for our first stop. All right, here we are back at platform 13. You see, calling Gatwick Airport, Brighton. Love that, love that. Got some people here kind of sitting and waiting. Nice little hoodie she got on, striped shirt. <laughs> the arms folded. So I really like this livery, the Gatwick Express. It says not in service, that's because we haven't put it in service yet. Uh, but yeah, really dope livery, really dig it. I've actually watched some online videos of the Gatwick Express 
and I've noticed um, I don't know if yeah, I haven't been there in real life I don't know what it looks like today I think that this DLC is set in like the year 2018 2019 one of those there's London Victoria there um, but I thought when I saw it in a video there's like a whole Gatwick Express area in the uh, in the train station and all these pylons here were all painted red like it was like it branded everything was branded gate uh gatwick express and i thought that was really really cool um so would love to be able to see that in the game as well but again i don't know maybe maybe it's not like that maybe it's a sp special thing no idea i just know i saw it in a video and looked really cool so if anybody knows more information about that please let me know as always in the comments again i'm not from this part of the world so I'm not as uh, knowledgeable as many of you. So here's our ride here. The uh, Class 3A7. Yeah, I love it. Let's go ahead and hop inside. Pop open the door. Again, love the fact that I can just kind of like walk around the station. Open the door, close the door. Do all my stuff. So again, we have a little bit of time. So we go ahead and yeah, click on that. We'll take this service. And to get us started up, we'll go down here to Master Key. Set that to on. Reverser to Neutral. And uh, we actually don't need to open the doors up. We probably could have waited to do all that <laughs> until it was time. Uh, but uh, we still have actually have, what time is it? 8.36. We don't have to depart until 8.41. Or we're not scheduled to depart to 8.41. So we have about five minutes or so. So I'll be back. Uh, Man, I was just doing a little bit of train spotting while we were waiting for our uh, service to start, and it is so busy out here. So go ahead and get the doors open on the right side. Click on the red button right here. We'll pop those open. You can see another train's heading out. And I mean, wow, you guys are going to see as we depart out of London, Victoria, just how busy it is. It's, it's, it just feels right, man. Uh, that's what we need in every route is that busyness. Like, you don't want to be out there feeling alone. A lot of times out here on these, um, you know, commuter uh, tracks it's, it gets real busy and it's just yeah it's it's one of the highlights of this route so far um, just really you know again I'm looking forward to the full release of this uh, so that I can actually appreciate uh, the busy passengers as well as the busy trains so looking forward to that I right, are waiting for the passengers to finish boarding we're almost ready to go let's go ahead and turn on the headlights to day running there we go and we also, you know, we'll go ahead and do the safety systems and uh, see what happens there. That doesn't usually go well for me, but uh, we'll try it. We'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, DSD, Vigilance, AWS, all the above. That looks good. Let's go ahead and lock the doors. We're ready to go. And we'll hit the uh, Hue key on the keyboard. Beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and shut the doors. On the right side, the doors are shutting. All right, ladies and gentlemen, next stop, London Gatwick Airport. And I need to go into Fort, there we go. And then we'll go Power 2, that works for me. A little bit of horn. All right, rolling out of London, Victoria, as I said, loving, loving, loving how busy it is. Like, just look at the amount of trains we've seen just since we've loaded up here. All the southern trains, the, uh, oops, we're going too fast. <laughs> uh, even seeing a couple of Gatwick Expresses uh, rolling in and out. There's a power station up there ahead. I think that's going to be right next to the river, I believe. As we're heading south from London. Oh, yeah. Scenery-wise, I really love the, the London area. It looks very, uh, you know, London-y. <laughs> that's the right word. There's another train coming in. Look at this, man. Look at all these trains. It's crazy. Here's a, what do they call it? The Thames River? Or I probably pronounced that completely wrong. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I do apologize. I'm just American. It's all good. I'm not from here. I'm a visitor. <laughs> oh, man. 
they are very busy coming out of London, Victoria. Uh, it's gonna stay pretty busy throughout the whole group. Um, not at, I don't, it's been mostly busy at the ends, right? I think this route is somewhere around 60, maybe 60 ish miles. We got about 23 miles all the way to Gatwick. It's gonna be non stop service straight to Gatwick uh, Airport. And then from there, we'll continue to Brighton. Another one. Look at that, man. So much traffic. Now, this is what, this is rush hour. This is, oh, that's a long one, too. Oh, yeah, I wanna drive that one. I wanna drive that one. Oh, we're about the same length, actually. I didn't realize we were so long. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I didn't even know. But yeah, anyways, I'm just getting distracted by all the trains driving by. Like, this would be a perfect route to just do, like, some train spotting, you know what I mean? Real fan. Just find a spot you like, pick a pick a platform somewhere, and just sit out there and then watch trains go by. Definitely perfect for that. Uh, a lot of times, in some of the other routes that are not so busy, you know, you may try to do something similar, like maybe you want to hop in a, uh, you know, your favorite, I don't know, train station that's in-game, spawn there on foot, and, you know, you kind of want to hang out and, and watch some trains go by, but then you just kind of find yourself sitting there waiting for 30 minutes, an hour, and nothing ever comes. I feel like that definitely won't be an issue on this route. Alright, speed limit is going up to 60 miles per hour here, about 400 feet. You get a bit of a long train uh, in, this, uh, in this train, so we may... Have to wait a little bit. We have to wait to the end of the train passes that speed limit sign, which we haven't even gotten to yet. So we'll take a look an eye out for it. There it is right there. See the little red and white circle. It should say 60. Yep, that is our speed limit. Indicates 60 miles per hour is the next speed limit. We got 70 coming up in 2.1 miles. Also have the all clear green light. So once the end of the train, like I said, passes at 60, you'll see our speed limit uh, jump, jump up to, there it is, 60. Let's go to P4. Another train. So much traffic, man. So much traffic. Now, as far as the scenery, I think the scenery itself looks pretty solid as well. Again, I mean, people who are more local can attest better to saying, hey, this looks exactly like it should, but for the most part, it looks pretty, uh, yeah, authentic. I feel like, honestly, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie, as an American, um, you know, who has, you know, way fewer routes than the British in Train Sim World. And I feel bad for some of you guys in other countries where there is no route yet in Train Sim World, uh, like Spain and stuff like that, uh, Australia, all those places. Um, but uh, I feel like, you know, I was a little jealous because, you know, I watched some of the, the roadmap streams and the, the developer streams from Dovetail, and, you know, it's a British company. Like, they live out here. Like, this is one of their, their, their home railroads um so i feel like they put their foot in this one they put a little bit more effort into it you know um and so you know i don't know a little a little jealous <laughs> that they put i feel like they put a little bit more time into this one you can kind of tell there's a bit more love and care and see this route and it makes sense because it's their local route if i was making my local route or my local whatever um and, and putting it into the game i'm gonna give it my all i'm gonna give it more than um than what's expected from it you know and it makes sense so i'm glad they really have a passion for for um for uh trains and train routes and that they put you know everything they could so i'm just hoping that they take these things that they learned from this route and incorporate those into some of the future routes you know um you know maybe find better ways faster ways to do cooler things you know so um again i think the scenery itself looks pretty solid it's not like anything groundbreaking the stations look really good like this one right here look at this station very nice no idea what what station this is but it's a very nice station uh honestly mo the majority of the 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 stops here on this route are just really nice like they're not just like a a, a regular boring typical uh station you know uh it's just like they're, they're all kind of very involved and i think they did a really good job of modeling all that so big shout to the whole team out there uh, for doing that Let's go ahead and go to P4 again. Speed limit is jumping up to 70. We should at some point get the opportunity to go 80 or so 90 miles per hour uh, when that opportunity comes. But you can see lots of passengers there on the side. Not as busy as it would be if it was rush hour, but still busy enough. It looked like for a second that he was on my track, but he's not. So as we're speeding up, passing yet another train, I'm going to go up to the uh, map, show you guys what it looks like. So you can kind of see all of these different lines are kind of converging and that's what makes it so busy right you got people coming from out here let's go back and make sure we're not speeding all right pull that power back to off let it coast for a bit another one 
you go out here you can see again you got people converging from this way converging from this way this way this way so it kind of makes sense why it's so busy now i don't think you see the southeastern stuff uh i think they only up here in the northern part um so you don't see too much of that as you go out through the route but you see mo mostly southern i haven't yet seen any freight uh driving but uh, there is there are freight routes available um, to drive for the player, and I assume you would eventually see one at some point. I think I just haven't been driving at the freight times of day. I think it's pro probably pretty limited when it comes to freight. I think this route, when it comes to diversity, is a little less diverse than like the German route we had before. I still think the, the, uh, the Dresden route is probably the most diverse route. Definitely the most diverse route of the three rush hour routes because it has the freight it has multiple freights you know it has a lot of freight classes has a lot of um uh, express trains high speed lines commuter lines all of that that's kind of what i'm into that's why that's why i think i really enjoy the the the, the heck you call it what you say the gatwick express jesus christ <laughs> <laughs> what I was trying to say. The Gatwick Express, because it's an express route, right? You only stop once or twice. You stop in Gatwick Airport and then you stop in Brighton. Um, I definitely still enjoy doing, you know, multiple stops, but I kind of got to be in a mood for it, you know, if I want to do that. It takes a bit longer. Uh, going from here to Gatwick would probably take us around 25 to 30 minutes straight, right? It's 20 something miles. Uh, and then from Gatwick Airport to Brighton, it'll take another 20 to 30 minutes or so, depending on traffic and things like that. So, it's pretty cool. So we've got a 0.8% gradient right now as we're climbing, uh, descending south. Why oh, I say climbing, descending? No, climbing uh, and uh, heading southbound uh, from Victoria. And uh, what station is this? I have no idea what these stations are. I am so unfamiliar with the area. Like everything out here is just brand new. I'm seeing it with just brand new eyes. And I think that's one thing I do like about, um, you know, driving new routes that are not my 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 home country is that i get to discover and, and learn more about new places in other uh, other parts of the world So right now we're driving through a place uh, it's called Thornton Heath or something like that. You see it's kind of uh, lots of residential areas. There's a station coming up here. And yes, we are speeding. Once again, even it's dropped down to 60. It's so difficult, man. A lot of times when I'm driving on Train Super, I, I tend to stay in the inside view, kind of try to pay attention as best as possible. See that over on the left kind of drops down there. Um, but whenever I'm trying to like show off scenery or just look at the scenery and enjoy the scenery, it's very difficult for me to drive the train and do all that at the same time. Very interesting rail network out here. I actually really like it. You got these bridges, it goes up and down, under and between. <laughs> and we got these two are going to merge. Actually, all these three are going to all merge together. But really, really interesting to be honest with you. I'm really, really liking this. And again, just busy. Like, I'm going to keep saying that so much throughout this route. It's just so busy out here. I love it. Now, uh, when it comes to this particular train, I think we're coming up on another uh, actually pretty big station up here. I think it's one of those college areas. And speed limits dropped on us again. Just, you know, I was about to say, just screw the speed limits, man. Because <laughs> I can't pay attention to it all. I really can't. There's a southeastern train over there. Yeah, we're not stopping here, but we do have to slow down coming through here. Yeah, this is it's probably honestly this station right here. I'm not sure what name the name of it is. Let's actually he'll look at it. We can go here, go to map, and we'll find ourselves. This is East Croydon. Yeah, so so far, I really like that one. I like that station a lot. I feel like it'd be a good station to spawn in on foot and uh catch a ride. The speed limit has dropped down to 45 miles per hour momentarily until we uh, get to the next speed limit of 60. I guess they just want us to go slower through there. Now we're racing this guy. There's like nobody on that train. Why is there no one on that train? 
Oh, hey, another Gatwick Express on the right. All right, speed limit just finally jumped up to 90 miles per hour. That'd be our max speed here. We're still 14 miles away from Gatwick. We need to be there at 9, 10 a.m. And it is currently 8.57. Uh, we should be okay. As long as we don't uh, screw up and uh, get any emergency stops, we should be there probably early, most likely. But, uh, but yeah, so we're going up. Pedal to the metal. Power is set to P4. And we are on the move. Now, one thing I've never really liked about this style of, uh, of train is that the visibility, in my opinion, has always just been horrible. I mean, now they have, you know, I think they did a good job with the modeling of the interior. Again, I, I've never seen one of these trains in real life, so I can't say whether or not it's accurate. I'd have to go Google a bunch of photos to really kind of tell you. Um, but that being said, uh, I feel like my best view is this one right here. On the, on, let me find it. This one right here on the outside. I put it right against the door. There. And then center my mouse, right click, hit F1, hide the HUD, and that is my ideal view for driving this train. Uh, and I love it. Like, you just, I can just ride like this forever. <laughs> you know what I mean? It gives you a really nice sense of speed. The platforms look really cool as you go by. <coughs> Sounds very nice. <coughs> But yeah, that's my ideal view. It's a little loud out there, but that is what I prefer to do. We're still climbing to 90 miles per hour and going uphill as well. Um, but yeah, that's what I usually drive on when I'm driving this particular train. Just because I just don't really like the view in here. You just can't really see much. I mean, unless you zoom in like this, uh, which is cool, but I don't know. That's just my preference, personally. Right, we got a yellow signal coming up uh, which means we definitely need to watch out we're only you know 1.5 miles away from the stop anyway so it will be a good idea to go ahead and start slowing down unless I want to fail again uh, we'll probably end up getting a red signal after this yellow that's my prediction and nope it's still yellow but we'll still get slowed down we're doing good on time we're actually gonna arrive early we might get held up actually we'll have to see so this is not the station right here, this is a different station. Don't know what station this is. Oh, oh that's a plane. That's a plane. <laughs> oh, they got planes on this route. You guys know. Oh man, that's that's sick. Yeah, we're coming up on a Gatwick Airport. We can already see the aircraft landing. I think that's the I think that's runway 26 we should be expecting to see. Alright, we do have a red signal up ahead in 900 yards. Thankfully, we're already slow. We're already prepared this time um, that we might get a red signal. That red signal looks like it's going to be right after our platform, so we just can't roll too far. So I'm going to go to break two and continue slowing down as we approach the station. Let's go to the outside view. Really appreciate it. Make sure we don't overrun it. Another plane coming over. Very cool. Slow down here. We do not want to overrun it. I don't want to have to do this again. All right, let it coast. Yeah, we are about what two and a half minutes early. I can dig it, man. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. There's a vigilance pedal. Running about ten miles per hour. Do a kind of uh, tapping the brakes here and there. Go ahead and bring full break and right on the marker. That's what I'm talking about. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Gatwick Airport. Let's go ahead and unlock the left side doors. Right there. Oh, plane just flew by me. Oh my god. <laughs> That's sick, yo. That is so cool. 
Yeah, but just as we get here, another train is on the way out. Matter of fact, both those trains will be leaving here in just a second. This is just our first stop. Next, we'll be heading to Brighton. That's going to be a straight shot. No stops in between. Guys, no, I'm a freaking a av geek. I'm an aviation guy. Come on, I got to see the airport before we leave. All right, so yeah, this is the runway. This is where the runway should be. You can see the... Uh, that's, a, that's so unlegit. Come on, Dovetail. You could have put something there. You could have put something. Yeah, that's not a runway. That's supposed to be the runway right there. I used to got to wait ten minute, uh, two minutes. Yeah, this, this airport's pretty sad. Similar issue on King Creek, uh, where there is an airport that you get to drive by. Oh, here we go. Oh, let's see. Is he going to land? Let's see if he's... Is he going to land or just disappear? He's probably going to disappear. I'm guessing he's going to disappear. Yeah, he's disappeared. The runway is right there. Why is he going down there? <laughs> okay. Well, you know, well, at least they gave us some a little bit of airplane action. But, uh, you know, it is a train simulator and not a plane simulator. I have to keep reminding myself that. It's not a plane simulator. Come on. But, uh, yeah, same issue with Cane Creek where... It was a very sad representation of an airport and a uh, controlled tower. And uh, I think this is also a very sad representation of an airport. Um, the only time that I've been on a train is from airports. All right, we'll go ahead and lock the doors. I'm actually gonna do it manually. Click on the blue button here, door close. And we have the green light. Next stop, ladies and gentlemen. Next and last stop, Brighton. We're going to the beach, guys. Going to the beach, let's go. All right, so the speed limit is just straight up 90. Actually, it says 40 in two miles, but, you know, we're going to freaking book it as fast as we can go until we get about a half a mile from there, and it will come back down to 40. That's what we're going to do. All right, we're just finally getting up to speed, but I think this is a really good time uh, to take a quick tour around the back to see what, uh, what it looks like while we're in route. One thing I like about the seats is that they're all in the uh, Gatwick Express branded color. Uh, I definitely dig that. I uh, see here we got some passenger safety instructions on how to evacuate in case there's a fire or some crazy thing going on. Got some uh, special seats there that are a bit more accessible. Got the trash. I don't know if I can click on any of these. Yeah, I can click on the open and close, but we're not going to do that right now. Even though I do believe it would work. Let's see, actually. No. Okay, I can't open it. <laughs> I had to try. I had to try. So over here we have uh, lots of cargo area uh, and room for baggage. Again, this train is uh, Gatwick Express. It goes to and from the airport. So definitely have plenty of room for that. We'll keep moving on. Now here is the lavatory or where you, uh, you know, take a quick squat. But uh, I would hate to sit in these seats here. Man, that would just not be fun. Having people going back and forth. It's like sitting in that seat in the plane that's right next to the restroom. Yeah, not fun at all. But yeah, I think the interior looks pretty good. One thing I personally feel like it's a little too bright uh, in here. I'm not sure if there's a way to turn off the lighting. But I just feel like it's a little bit too bright even when going through tunnels and things like that. I kind of said this on a, a previous video. I don't know what goes in this white box. Uh, but it'd be nice if they could fill that with something interesting. Uh, again, another cargo area there. Click on the door. We'll keep moving back. So we're at the, at the Ford. Uh, oh, here's first class. I was wondering what that was. So here's first class. Oh, nice. Look at that. Gatwick Express first. Making you feel real special. Close the door. I'm too important for you guys to see me. So, yeah, I like that. GX first. That's pretty nice, man. Pretty nice. I keep stepping on the seats. <laughs> so it's not very big first class. I think that was it. I think that is all of first class. And we'll go through here. And uh, wow, lady, that's pretty cool. You can actually see it's shaking a little bit as uh, we're going. Can I go through here? Huh. It won't let me walk through here. I should be able to walk through here. Okay, so you can open it and shut the door. It says no public access. I guess I'm not supposed to go there, but... Alright, well, I guess there it is. That's your tour. Oh, wait. <gasps> I thought this was a restroom. Oh, my God. I almost freaked out. I was like, no way they actually modeled the restroom. I thought that was it. Alright, so apparently you can't walk from uh, coach to coach. You can only stay in one. That's not true, because I walked all the way up here. So I don't know how to get back. 
Oh yeah, and one more thing. I love this right here. Welcome aboard the Southern Service to Brighton. Calling at Brighton and Brighton. Wait, what? Did I read that right? Did I read that right? Welcome aboard to the Southern Service to Brighton. Calling at Brighton and Brighton. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Anyways, let's continue, guys. Make sure hopefully you will enjoy the ride. Uh, we have some nice scenic views coming up on the way to Brighton. At Brighton. On Brighton. Speed limit is dropping here as to 75 miles per hour. We just are going to miss it by a little bit. We'll get slowed down as we're only less than three miles now from Brighton. 2.6 miles to be exact. And you can tell that by speed limit dropping down to 40 miles per hour too. So that means we're definitely getting closer. We definitely be careful not to catch any red lights uh, as we have, uh, we may be early. It looks like we're going to be early. About 10, probably like 7 to 8 minutes early. So there might be some traffic there waiting for us. Or we may have to wait on some traffic uh, as we approach the station. So we can watch out for that. Watch out for any red signals. So far we have to clear, all clear the green lights. Just be on the lookout for that 40 miles per hour there. But yeah, I got to say, it's it's... You know, obviously, you know, people are going to be biased of, of their home country routes, right? So, like, when, it, when the Amtrak one came out, I was very biased. I was trying not to be, trying to be fair. Uh, but at the same time, I can't help but be biased because it's, you know, it's my, it's my country, you know? So it was one of my favorite routes, and that was one I was looking forward to the most. Uh, but honestly, the, the Dresden route in Germany definitely surprised me. Uh, it's a very well done route. And uh, I think it's still the most diverse and probably even could possibly be, you know, I haven't driven this one enough to, to say, but it could possibly be one of, like the best one of the three when it comes to playability. Uh, but with this route, I am surprised how much I enjoy it, you know, uh, enjoy the British route over here in the UK. And I've definitely enjoyed it. So down 40 miles per hour here in just about 700 yards. And so, yes, I would honestly recommend all three of these routes. I feel like the rush hour pack is a must have pack. And if you're the kind of person who only wants to drive in your home country or, uh, you know, or in one area, I would definitely encourage you to kind of get out of your comfort zone and try, try driving some more different trains in different countries, different areas. Try something different than what you would usually do. Like if you usually do freight, try a, a commuter route like this uh, or like Amtrak, you know. Uh, if you're someone who only does commuter routes in Britain, you know, try to do a German route or try to do an American route. Kind of branch out and, and try some new things. It'll only make you a better uh, train driver in the, in the end of the day. So we can see we got a red signal, as I kind of expected here, coming up in 300 yards. And speed was drawing down to 25. We're already below that. So we, because we're early, again, we're about seven minutes early in the Brighton. Uh, I think platform three is probably going to be taken already. Let's just watch out and make sure we do not uh, overrun that red signal. So I'm already in the brakes as we're approaching the station. Yeah, you can see the station right over there. 
And we're trying to get stopped just short of the red signal. Let's go ahead and stop here. Break three. Another uh, Gatwick Express. I'm not sure if that one is kind of like stabled. Like if he's just sitting there waiting for his service or if he's also waiting to get into the terminal. So, yeah, I'm not sure how long we're going to have to wait, but we are definitely early. We're supposed to be here at 9.37 a.m. and it is 9.30, so we'll be hanging out here for a little bit. All right, and there he goes. That's who we were waiting for. Right there on platform three. He's on the way out. So as soon as he clears, we should be given the green light to approach the station. And we'll be done for today. Yeah, it reminds me of the Boston route, where in Boston, you typically got a lot of uh, yellow and red signals trying to wait up for slower or uh, traffic ahead of you. And I really like that. I really like needing to do that. It kind of adds another element to it. See him now approaching us here on the right side. Now we get the, the yellow signal. We can go ahead and give it our power and get going into the station. But yeah, in Boston, I remember having that issue multiple times where you get to the station and there's already someone there on your platform if you get there early. And the craziest thing is I actually followed the rules today. You guys should be proud of me. <laughs> I actually followed the rules today. I didn't over speed or anything crazy. Uh, we actually followed the rules, used the safety system and everything. And, uh, and we still got here early, so yeah. Definitely got to try one of the other uh, non-Express commuter services to see how easy or hard it is to stay on time. Because uh, with this one, honestly, it was very easy. The, the timeline was pretty lenient. There was plenty of time to get to, from point A to point B. I mean, we could have even threw an emergency stop there at some point if we wanted to. But obviously, I don't want to. So, But here we are, approaching the station, slowly. And this will be the end of the line here. I believe we continue south from here. It's just all beach. <laughs> Lots of uh, people here waiting because this train's going to be heading back the other way. Probably not too long. And the cool thing about timeline. Oh, oh let's get slow down. Stop, 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 stop. We're going to make it. We're going to hit the thing. Are we going to hit the thing? Are we going to hit the thing? Oh, baby. Right on the money. Love it. All right, here we go. Unlock the doors. Yes, sir. Don't mind if I do. And now everybody's getting on. But yeah, so the cool thing is, you can see right here on the platform, it says this is the next one's a 948 service, so it leaves in about just over 10 minutes. Going back to London, Victoria, stopping at Gatwick. And again, if you didn't... Oh, oh, where the heck are we? Here. Says it right... Uh, yep, says it right there on the PIS. So, we could wait around if we wanted to for that 948 service and then switch sides and drive it back to London Victoria if you wanted to. So that's the beauty of it. So it took us about an hour, just under an hour uh, total time to do this entire route, uh, legitly. But I really liked it, I really enjoyed it, and looking forward to trying out some of the other trains on this route too. But guys, uh, before we leave, we've got gold, um, 50 miles distance actually. So actually I was incorrect. It was about 50 miles start to finish, not 60. I was incorrect there. So you continue, and let's go back to continue return to free roam. And you guys know what it is. I like to hop out. Um, I'm not gonna do anything. I'm not gonna shut the train down. I'm like that. Hop back here. What are you guys doing standing around? Okay, find a seat. I'll be back. <laughs> so, I want to kind of take a look around Brighton Station. I actually have not been here. I told you guys earlier that I haven't successfully done uh, a full uh, a full service. So, this is the first time that I actually made it. So, I would like to... Can I go that way? That one's open. Can I go that way? Oh, come on, Dovetail. Get rid of the boundaries. I want to go there. But again, you can hear the gates opening and closing. Very cool. Um, not as many people around. Again, this is with the rush hour uh, quantities turned off as far as uh, pedestrians and people like that. But you can walk over here. There's not a whole lot going on in this station, but it's a very nice, nicely modeled station. I just wish, I wish that we could explore more beyond like, you know, within the terminal area. You know, if I want to get a snack, get some food. Can I go over there? Let's see if we can go over there.
Yeah, so we can get behind this gate. Just run around. And I'm just going to kind of test and see how far it's going to let me go. And it stops me right there, of course. Well, guys, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the, ri the ride from London, Victoria to Brighton here on the London Commuter Route, the final rush hour route. Uh, thank you guys so much for riding along. Hopefully you enjoyed it. It's been a lot of fun. And uh, until next time, remember you have three choices. Give up, give in, give all you got. Peace, love, and God bless you. Also, huge shout out to Dovetail uh, for providing this copy of uh, London Commuter. Really enjoyed it. Thank you guys for supporting the Blue Games channel. Until next time, see you guys next time. Peace, love, and God bless you. Peace. Peace.